thought I'd start with a little bit of a journey for myself. Um, I started in Mass Timber about 2011. Uh, around 2012, the Forte building came up, and this is sort of a heat map that I put together over time to sort of show where CLT was sort of um, coming to, to flourish. And as you can see, it's quite, uh, quite sparse there. But as you look back uh, forward to 2018, this is sort of the trend that's happening now. Um, one of the big notable inclusions is uh, uh, the west coast of the US. Um, and also, if you have a look just above us in Australia, you've got Singapore. At the moment, there's about 13 to 14 projects, probably the largest volume of CLT in the world happening in Singapore. The other significant event that's happening in Singapore is they're using 6D BIM for everything they do with mass timber. And it's um, quite a, a, a hurdle to overcome, but it's also a requirement for the local government. So what are some of the industry challenges that have probably led us to think about BIM um, and other technologies that can support us in construction? So firstly, uh, you know, back in the day when I started in construction, everyone was looking one way. They weren't really looking back and talking to a colleague. Um, they were all facing in one direction. That one direction was usually a specification or a recipe for a building would come down the line. You'd get that recipe, you'd fill that order, the builder would build it and the building would go up. And contract negotiations were a little bit like this. Um, and I think uh, you know, Rob will be up next to talk about a few uh, developments in that. But contract negotiations are quite adversarial and certainly not collaborative. But now we've sort of coming together, but we're a little bit disorganised and we sort of need to get some sort of, um, I guess, a protocol to, to support our coming together. And I think you know, BIM has been uh, a significant sort of uh, software solution, a collaborative solution, a communication tool to, to try and drive that. Uh, but is it the really the thing that's driving collaboration at the moment? I'm not quite sure. Um, you know, do we all hold hands and sing together and, uh, you know, it's a lovely time? I think the reality is that we're uh, trying to overcome the challenges of communication, but it's still a little bit disorganised. It's not a be-all and end-all solution yet. So, in one sense, I guess if you're a public enemy fan, don't believe the hype is probably the way to go. And the reason for not believing the hype is uh, sort of depicted in this innovation curve. If you have a look at the blue curve there, you'll see that there's quite a gentle bell curve or a slope. Um, essentially, technologies are triggered and they hit a precipice and they come down. But if you have a look at the red line, you also have this sort of peak of uh, inflated expectations around what technologies can do. And we're certainly in the top of this peak at the moment. I don't believe BIM as a technology is in this peak. I think it's sort of coming down now. But I certainly think AR and VR and other technologies that are associated with BIM and, and trying to get increases in efficiencies moving forward are sitting in this particular um, peak. So what is industry requirement? Well, they really qu require these um, five or six elements, um, especially the efficiency element at the bottom. But also they need to be reliable, they need to be adaptable, and I guess BIM fulfills the alignment scenario. And it's not surprising because if you have a look at a survey of manufacturers all over the world that was taken in around about 2016, 2017, and published by um, who I would now call a friend, um, Lech Muzilisky at, uh, at OSU, um, the majority of the product is custom CLT in mass timber for mass timber manufacturers. The very, very small wedge in the, uh, in the circle on your left is, is the commodity product, so product that's made to stock. So when, it's, when you look at things like the mass customisation of buildings, it's not surprising we need uh, smarter protocols or tools. And if you have a look at the circle on, the, on, on your right, you'll actually see you know, where those projects are going to. So we look at adoptions for mass customisation and we look at how things might actually progress and the, the, I guess the orange square is where we're sitting at the moment and I guess BIM fits into that portfolio. So from a collaborative perspective where people are agreeing what it is they're actually trying to do, um, we're seeing that you can get mass customisation and you can get collaboration. But now we just need the mechanism or the tool or the protocol to bring people together. Mm -hmm.